this is part two of the comics. It doesn't even know we're here. Do you think we should get, uh, get the deer away from it? Do you think you'll be safe to eat? You don't have any consolidity if you keep watching. They're not that fast. A glance in the directions every five minutes will do it. I'm just being through. So entertain us, Lori. How you meet Rick? I think this job is Monday enough without me putting you both into sleep. Come on, I could use a good nap. All right, but I warn you, Rick's brother Jeff is my age. I am two years younger than Rick. I met his brother senior year of high school. It started with my brother. I'm all ears. It's nothing like that. We're just friends. Jeff invited me to a New Year's party. Apparently, Rick had been made Cherokee by their parents who attend their party elsewhere. I met Rick there, and he was going to college for police. Everything about him was interesting. You know what? It's like that time of the year when you're alone and hung on every word. Everything about him was perfect, and at midnight, I had to someone to kiss. He really hit off. We kept in the touch while we finished college. I attempted more than a year in the mine. I didn't. After the college was out of my the way, I moved back home. That was when Rick and I really serious. The rest of the pretty self see pretty duel. I gotta say, you two look good together. Rick and I are just most complete people on earth. We're just the perfect for each other. Come on, let's get back to the camp. Look out! Ah! Move, Donna! I said move! I couldn't, I couldn't, I, you, you saved my life, don't mess in it. Mom! I was chopping firewood, then I heard screams and I... It's still alive! I don't even... I don't even want to think about the disease. Carrie, I'm not eating any of the deer near my family. Yeah, I think you're right. You see, you and I ever seen one of the closest like this? Couple times, but not for long. Attack when they attack me. That's not not good. I wasn't going to let. I was going to wait him to come afterwards. The camp. Lori, are you are you and Carl okay? What happened? It came out of the woods. Tried to kill us. It almost got Donna, but Dale cut his head off. And it was still alive, and they had to shoot it. Oh, Rick, it was awful. Let's get things back into the woods. And out of the way. Everything's going to be okay, hon. Psst. Dang, man. Don't, don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry. I was just trying to get up here without waking anyone up. Well, next time, throw a rock at me or something. You scared half to death out of me. Especially after what happened earlier. Yeah, that was actually what I, was, I came here to talk about. Oh. We needed to move to camp. It's not smart to be this close in the city of full of those things. It's just so dangerous. Are you crazy? What happened if the government starts cleaning the mess up? They'll they will have to start with the cities. They'll find a year to die way here. It's 
too busy to go somewhere else. The fi the fires are keeping us warm. There's plenty of firewood in this area. We'll be fine here. This is the best place to be for the rescue. What makes you so sure that this is gonna be rescued? Donna almost died yesterday. What if what if one of those kids what if it was Carl? Nobody was prepared for this, Shane. You think those girls know how to fight? If we go someplace safer, maybe we don't have to. Maybe we will rescue so soon. I'd rather be able to go a uh, night sleep every once in a while than have to sit up at the night hoping this government is still going to act to find us. Can you guys keep it down up there? Some of us are trying to sleep. Hey, Glenn, wait up. What can I do for you, Rick? When you go into the town, have you ever seen like a gun store or anything like that? No, but I ever I never really go to the city that far. Why do you ask? Well, I'm thinking if everyone just he headed herded into the city for protection, they would have been have been so much looking looting for everything has been organized in the government. And when everything went to crap. There is no way anyone were had the time to break into the, one of the store gun stores. Those places are usually barred up and no one would have been able to get through that without being attacked and eaten. That does make sense. And while you know exactly where the gun store is, I think I know someone who might. Jim, you gotta help us out. Man, you remember the opening gun stores close to the edge of the town here in Atlanta? Gun stores? Corner of Pleasant and 38th Street. Thanks, Jim. Come on, I got a map in the car. It gotta be here somewhere. I know, we need the guns, but why do you have to go? This is your third day here. I don't want you to have a worry about you again. Daddy, please don't. You don't have to worry, son. I'll be really careful. This is to be done, so we'll be safe. When I get back, I'll teach you how to shoot a gun. You want to know how to shoot a gun, don't you? No way. I'm too young to shoot a gun. We'll argue about that when I get back. Don't worry. I'll be here before you notice that I'm gone. Glenn will keep me safe. How many times have we gone into the town and come back flying? I just don't understand why he can't go along. Why do you have to go with him? How many guns do you think Glenn can carry? Come on, hon. Let's be responsible. Got it. Be careful. Don't worry, hon. I'll be fine. I love you. Love you, too. What is up with Jim? Is he okay? Well, remember when I told you he had a guy... I can't actually make one of the Atlanta alive yet. But Jim's that guy. At the time you just told me you threw Lori and Carl were in there. And I was just trying to give you hope. The thing is, Jim got a lot out of the city. But he saw his entire family torn apart before he did. Oh. He told us about the story once. It was like. They were shielding from the army of zombies that had surrounded them. His wife and sister, husband between all they had like five kids. I can't really remember, but I think his mom might be there too. Dang it. What? Jim gun store five blocks from where I found you. I never go through that far in there. No way we can't do this. Follow me. I got an idea. Come on, this way. The city is that way where we're going. Trust me. You don't want to know. Help me drag away from the tree. Um, What are you doing? Those things don't seem so smart yet. Mistake. I never seen them mistake one of them for us. And I've got a couple of those things. I... Now I see some of them. 
missing half of a piece. They they up and more moving by all and they're not operating from big performance. So I'm definitely not saying these got bloodhounds. Here, rub this on your clothes. Then they'll stick in the, the pocket. I think a few pieces for each will do it. <laughs> well, uh, if I had known to be doing this, we've got to give the shot through. Don't let anything get closer to your face at all of these things are so nasty. I hate to think what would happen if you got something in your mouth. Their bites are foul. And that is just making them with broken skin. I don't think we'll be rubbing this on my face anytime soon. I hope this works. You and you and me both. I'm going to... I'm going to real, feel really stupid if we did this for nothing. Blame. Sorry about that. You know, your smell theory is going to have much safer than you. I need to, to scratch my nose. Well, let's see if this is going to go to work. Nothing so far. Ah! No, no way doing. No, no way. This is not going to work. It just isn't. Glenn, listen to me. It just, it just slapped my mind away. It wanted me to leave it alone. This is going to work. Look at it. It's not coming after us. What a gloomy day. I don't know about you but i was sick of the, all the sunshine look what's going down here at least this is considerate you ready for all this not really me dear <sighs> you 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 do this every day yep according to the map map pleasant streets this way so far so good they don't seem to notice that we're walking same they might sound too, maybe. We can't see the difference. We used to go this way. We almost there. i never been that far into the city. Oh! It's worse than I thought. Just calm down. Don't freak out. We'll be fine. Look, there it is. One second. What's that for? We can carry more guns with it. Oh, that makes more sense. So how are we going to be getting in? This door was made out of wood. We need to hurry. Those things are going to look after us. While I hack that way the door, I think they notice we're different. We're at it. We're at a the vantage, not knowing how smart. What should we get? A little of everything, as much we can fit in the cart. Make sure to get a lot of ammo. We need to make sure that we don't grab everything. The guns won't we get. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's a that's a good point. You think we got enough for a while at least? Let's go. Oh no, it's starting to rain. Hurry! What was that? You don't notice that we're going. We're going not we're not gonna let the last in the rain. Ah oh, What what's wrong? Look at them. The rain's washing the smell off. Ah, oh, we're going not to make it. Just run, come on, Rick. Grab the grab the cart on the right. And the grab money guns as you can. Hurry! Oh gosh, oh gosh! Come on, Ray. Hurry up. We won't make it. We're almost home free. Yeah. Just keep running. Okay. I I think you lost them. Let's take a breather. Rick. Oh, thank God. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. 
I thought I was bitten. Oh, I guess I really luck out of this time. Well, let's get these back guns back to the camp before it gets dark. Yeah. You got nothing to worry about, Lori. Rick can handle himself. You seen what he gone through already, and he, and he and Glenn will be back before you know it. I just, I just wish he hadn't gone. But why did he have to put me through this again? Come back to camp. It's too cold. This will be out this rain. Come on, staying out here isn't gonna make it. You come at me super. I'll help you. I'll keep you in the company. Shane, don't. You got to stop. Rick, back. Rick is back now. He's alive, and he's my husband. You gotta stop this. But what about the night? You, we were on the road down here. That night was a mistake. <laughs> that's that's it. You're going you're getting a lot better, Donna. A couple weeks ago, we were all over the place. Now you're nailing almost half of it. Look at me. I'm a regular sharpshooter. Keep keep it keep it up. You're not that far off. I'm nowhere near as good as Andrea by thanks away. How's it going? Huh. Oh, hey, Rick. What's going on? I just have Donna some uh, really stuff going on. It just pointing at it. Brain surgery. <sighs> Maybe, but gotta try. It's easy now. It will be nice. Hey, Carl, you ready? Also, before we go, I got an announcement to make sure. I think any of the has been paying attention to Carl on the shooting range, has seen what he knows, handle it. I know he's young, but it's just safety check if he's going to be carrying his own gun from now. I know. Dang it, Lori. We thought he's safer this way. Is he? Can you be so sure? He's seven years old. It's not a good idea. I guess the end of the world means there's no way longer this way I'm perishing my own son. Lori, you're overreacting. This first hint of him treating it like a toy and I'll never let him touch it again. This is Hostler with a safety on it. It's an emergency. Whatever. I wish this place wasn't so far from camp. Would would you rather a pack of those monsters following the gun? They use right. Welcome back. You guys are expert. There's a couple of us. You probably could use a little bit of practice too. You know, don't don't need to stay here and guard the camp if we're not here. That's true, but I hate to come back to find a couple. Dead guys digging into the stuff. The long walk is here is very entertaining. A very excuse isn't that bad. All all excuse ever is tired and who wants to be tense of terrified. Sun souls being just middle if I remember correctly. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, this this thing is working perfectly. I don't know how we cook and any meat without it. I don't leave home without my supplies. You never know when I come back in handy when I'm at the road. That reminds me when you don't when like you, Daryl. Did you trust travel? Did you just travel? Pretty much. I was just a salesman for over mostly 40 years. I spent most of my life behind desk on the phone. The week after I retired, my wife and I bought me be in the road for a very long time. We were at the campsite about 80 miles south 
right here coming back. Can it? Can I get some more of that stuff, Alan? Sure, Rick. I'm just going to need a bag. Don't eat it. Well, you know know about me. Small town cop from Kentucky. I only never shot my gun a couple times. I never had anyone through the last time I was do young and try. I got the shot. Was in a coma for a while. And I woke up to this. I was going out on my mind worrying about Lori and Carl. Shane here took care of my camp. I felt so bad about Rick getting shot. I visited him when I Lori told me she was going to come here to stay with her parents. I couldn't let her go alone. It was getting bad. And now there, of course, no bad how it could get. Well, I gotta use the bathroom. Does anyone need anything while I'm in here? More napkins or something? More left? Oh. Ah! Amy, no! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Amy, oh my gosh! What do I do? We got to, we got to stop the bleeding. I'm sorry, I she's gone. Heads up, Rick. That wasn't the only one. Maury, get the kids in the cars and stay here. Come on. Oh. Come on. It's not safe here. No, no, no. Oh. Come on. There's no telling how many are. Eat. Are you okay? Y yeah. Is everyone all right? Y yes, we're fine. Dale, you got to put her up, up, get her inside the camper. Get off me. My family. My family. You get them. Jim, stop. It's over. It killed my family. I'm so sorry, Andrea. I'm so sorry. Oh, Dale. <sighs> I can't help her come back to life with that. I'm sorry I, I was mad at you. I was so stupid. If I was something had happened to you tonight, I... It's okay. Jim. Jim, oh my gosh, you've been bitching. This is nothing. A scratch. Just a scratch. We may not get getting along, but I love there. And everyone here, we lean each other, want to meet each other. This is hard for on us. All seem to be. She was a pretty girl, smart too. She wasn't going to be in college, living her life, being young, being happy. This should never have happened. She didn't deserve this. Nobody deserved it. She came back to my life. The time when I, when I was ready to die. She gave me back my will to live. And I was never able to thank her for that. I miss her. You will all miss her. It's not going to be at the same time. Andrea? Do you need more blankets? This should cool down your face a little. Thanks. He's a garbage guy. I saw a tech. He turned into the couple of hours. No one would ever lasted more than a day. After, not after being bitten. Guess I'm lucky. Maybe you won't turn. Nobody knows anything for sure. Yeah. If you need anything, just give me some. Just give me a yell somewhere. Right down here. 
thanks for checking in him hun. This is other girls that are too scared to go near him and he won't let the men touch him. How is he worse? Maybe it won't happen to her. Yeah. No shooting today. Watch call. Just staying quiet. Aw, oh, Dad. Sorry. Good one. I feel going to be set. No, we can't do that. You just, you be a murderer. Donna, you don't understand. I can't feel it coming. This, you gotta do this. <coughs> Please, they have to do this for me to talk to them about it's what we do every way we see my family. Jim knows he wants to do. Uh, Jim, are you absolutely sure about this? Le leave me. When I come to the life, maybe I'll find find my family. Maybe they c came back too. Maybe we can be it together again. Goodbye, Jim. <sighs> Morning. Hey, Rick. Let me know when you're ready. You're gonna go hunting. Just give me a, a few minutes to wake up. I'll go be ready. Can I go, Dad? Sorry, son. Not this time. Dad? Come on, Rick. Why not let him come along? Because we need to talk. What do we need to talk about? You, you don't... What do you think? Pow! It wasn't my fault! Hey! Shut up! Stay away from you, you. What is wrong with you, Lori? I. I. Screw this. <sighs> Shane, wait. What's happening to us? Lori, are you okay? It's never going to be the same. We're never going to be normal. Just look at us. Shane, stop. Stop. What? What are you going to want? You can't really rip off my heart right out of my chest. Shane, what are you talking about? Be careful with that. Go ahead. Rip it off. I don't need it no more. Take it. Take it. Shane, I, can you please put the gun down? You really did it for me, buddy. You really did it. Oh, yes, you did. I am nothing now, Rick. Nothing. I got no, I got nothing, Rick. I got no friends, no family, no respect, no life. This world, this, this world of crap, there's nothing for me, Rick. Nothing. I thought I could make it. I thought I could hold it out. Wait until they came to rescue us before they drawed us beds. And hot showers and fresh clothes. We're Rick. We were going to be okay. Me. Still, our Shane, everything's going to be fine. I can't live like this, Rick. I can't. I thought you could do... I thought you could do everything was good. She would have come early knowing. She wouldn't have... What? Everything was so perfect. I told you get back. Shane, stop this. No, Rick. This is the only way this will happen. Will happen to you. Your world meant to supposed to live. Shane, please stop. Don't do this. <sighs> Don't hurt my dad again. <sighs> Carl. Oh, son. It's not the same as killing the dead one, daddy. It should never should be, son. It never should be. Part three coming soon.